Hello everyone, in this video we will present the working of our CIS 660 Maya plugin called Drownit, developed by me, Sohail Mehra, and my teammate Vivek Reddy. Here are some of our results. An array of coins. The motion of rigid bodies in vacuum has been studied extensively over the years. More recently, however, studies dealing with the motion of rigid bodies inside a fluid, like water, have become more abundant. An obvious way to simulate the aforementioned motions is to create a fluid using a particle-based technique, immerse the object of interest within the particle system, and observe the interactions between the two. It is evident that adopting such an approach would be computationally expensive. Many researchers have proposed a wide array of possible solutions to combat this problem. Although none thought of using Kirchhoff's fluid body model until Wiseman and Pinkall published their paper Underwater Rigid Body Dynamics at SIGGRAPH 2012. Their paper shows that the motion of rigid bodies underwater can be realistically simulated by simply replacing the usual inertia tensor and scalar mass by a Kirchhoff tensor. This allows users to model fluid body interactions in real time without the need to generate surrounding fluid at all. Consider a rigid body in three-dimensional space. This body, when in motion, will possess a certain amount of kinetic energy. This kinetic energy is comprised of two components, a linear component and an angular component, and this is described by the equation that follows. In this equation, J is the inertia tensor and omega is the angular velocity. However, this equation can only represent the kinetic energy of a body in vacuum and does not consider the contributions of any surrounding medium. In our approach, we will attempt to simulate a rigid body immersed in a fluid medium without simulating any fluid particles as per the equation on the screen. In this equation, K represents the Kirchhoff tensor. The simulation depends mainly on the correct computation of the Kirchhoff tensor K, which is essentially the sum of the body tensor KB and the fluid tensor KF. Every rigid body's properties in vacuum will be described by a unique Kirchhoff tensor represented by KB. But in order to approximate the effect of the surrounding fluid, an additional KF tensor needs to be computed. The fluid tensor KF depends only on the shape of the body and is completely independent of its material realization as captured by the mass and inertia tensor of the body. Scalar potential is important to calculate the forces acting on the body and hence helps find the linear and angular momentum acting on the body due to the fluid. Once the angular and linear momentums are calculated, we can easily find the fluid tensor and compute the motion of the body underwater. The following are the equations of motions used for integration over the time steps. In order to effectively use our plugin, we recommend the following workflow. To start off, the user must load the Dynamica plugin. The plugin will create the Dynamica menu in the menu bar, and the user can click this to explore all available options. At the bottom of the Dynamica window are our additional underwater simulation features. The user can either choose to automatically create default simulations for primitives like spheres and cubes, or may create or import an arbitrary mesh. Once the mesh is ready, the user can select it and click the mesh option in the underwater dynamics tab to make it an active underwater rigid body. From here on, the user can modify the attributes of the default simulation to get their desired output. An additional option exists for the user to create arrays of rigid bodies at a time. Lastly, all features above are integrated to work in conjunction with Dynamica's original tools, and hence a variety of results can be easily produced. Finally, here are some more results showing our work. A primitive cube falling underwater. Similarly, a vase mesh. Balloons floating through the air. And finally, various other arbitrary meshes falling underwater. We can observe the variation in the output when the Kirchhoff scalar, mass, buoyancy, drag, viscosity, and additional forces and torques are varied. We would like to thank Professor Lane for all his help and support throughout the semester. Thank you.